Hello, my beautiful Cancer friends. How are you today? Welcome to your reading, your love reading. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And as always, take what resonates and leave the other cards behind. And let's see what's going on in the love lives of Cancer. Here we go. You are feeling victorious. In the recent past, you feel as though you've had a win in the love department. You caught somebody's attention. They are giving you a lot of attention. You like the limelight. You feel as though you are where you want to be in the recent past. Okay, Two of Wands. That is Aries energy. We have Leo energy. So you do feel as though you're at a crossroads, Cancer. We see you spinning the globe, looking at the VW wagon, Volkswagen bus, with <clears throat> the adventure of a surfboard. So you are looking into your future only. Your, the past is over here. You really want to transform your life in many, many ways. You want that beautiful transformation that allows you to see the sun rising every day as a glorious event. Rebirth. We love rebirth. Scorpio energy. Let's see what we have here for the way you're feeling about where your life is right now. Look at this. You are the Nine of Pentacles. You are sexy. You are single. You're able to take care of yourself. You know, you look good. You smell good. Everybody thinks, wow, here she comes. She is a popular person. How do you see you, the person of interest? And what I'm getting here is the Eight of Swords. You're not really sure what your love life is going to bring right now. There's also the possibility that the person you'd like to talk to is unavailable or not speaking at the moment. But it really speaks to the fact that you're, you're not ready to make a move yet. You're not ready to make a decision yet. How do you view the future going forward? Ooh, you are manifesting. <laughs> oh, beautiful Gemini and Virgo energy. You are manifesting. You have been doing your, your due diligence in terms of your emotional balance, meditating. You are holding back. We get what's hidden here is that you're protecting your heart. You know, we have the Four of Coins. Four of Coins is Capricorn energy. You're trying to stay very practical, very down to earth, very real. You're, you're enjoying the magic, but you're not getting overwhelmed. You're not really doing anything out of the ordinary. You're very much letting this person come forward towards you and you're letting them take the lead as a way of seeing where they're going to go with this. Let's see what else we have. Spirit is saying that you should be aware that somebody around you may be in a third party situation. There may be some drama. Um, you may have left or you may be ignoring a person who wants to speak to you in this energy that has brought some pain. And Spirit's just saying, you know, here it is, decide wisely. What is your outcome at this time for your love life? What is your outcome for beautiful Cancers? Before we clarify on this reading. The Sun card, the happiest card in the deck. Come on, Leo. Ooh, beautiful energy. Gorgeous. All right. So let's go ahead and clarify and see how you have arrived at this place. This is Leo energy. Really, really interesting. You may be dealing with the Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. You could be dealing with the Virgo or an Earth sign. Magician is also Virgo and Gemini. Okay, so why is the Six of Swords here? The Six of Swords is speaking to the fact that prior to the time you were here, you were in this energy, and it is kind of on your mind. You don't want to be sad. You know, who would, right? Like, nobody wants to be sad. You do think that somebody owes you an apology, and they're coming in to make it. Okay, I like it. So somebody who has disappointed you is coming in to make that apology. Apology, but I like the beginning. That's a great beginning. Why is the two of wands here? Why is the two of wands? What are you going to make a decision about? 
the Four of Wands. That is the Honeymoon Marriage card. Four of Wands is a bride and groom dancing under the garland and the Rider Waite deck. You know, you really want to have the option to alter and change and transform your life by being married happily, happily ever after. And you are willing to release anything that really stands in your way. You're really willing to be much more open, much more um, willing to let somebody from the past go, release the past for a new beginning. So if there is somebody here and here who is in the middle of your life, it, you know, what this is telling me is that you're going to let go of your worries. You're going to let go of any anything that you have that you think isn't going to serve you really. Why is a death card here? The Ace of Wands, a new beginning, a new passionate beginning, Scorpio energy. You know, you want somebody with whom you have a really deep bond, eighth house energy. What do we have here? Look at you go from being the Nine of Pentacles to the Queen of Wands, and you want equal give and take. You don't want anybody that holds you back. That's just, you know, anyone who is not willing to talk to you, to give to you, who causes drama, who causes heartache, who's in a third party situation, need not apply. The Tower card is clarifying the, the Magician card. I feel as though you're about to meet someone out of the blue, quite literally, Cancer. This is your card, by the way. You know, this is somebody coming in to apologize to you, but it is also your card. You are taking control of your happiness, and that's also what it means. We get the Tower card here by the Magician card. So again, you're going to make magic in a big way. You're going to literally alter your life. This is the tower is you're going to rebuild the foundation. You're going to manifest something that's very different. And you're bringing the old towers down that do not serve you. The old expectations. You're just putting them in a check. Let's see what we have here for the Four of Pentacles. Look at this. You are definitely, well, you know, you are going to hold out for your happy place. This is the Ten of Cups. This is a happily ever after marriage card. Marriage card, marriage card. So I feel as though there is somebody who is new to you who has come in recently and they are trying to manifest you. You are trying to manifest them. So the Ten of Cups is a happily ever after marriage. Why do we have, why is Spirit warning about the Three of Swords? Somebody has left a third party situation that caused a lot of drama. Okay. Or somebody needs to since this is the advice. The Hermit card, you could be dealing with a Virgo. Look at that. Somebody's leaving. Somebody is in the middle of making a decision. I definitely feel as though this is a person with the Eight of Swords energy. That is Gemini energy. Gemini here, you might be dealing with a Gemini or just somebody who is figuring things out during this Mercury retrograde period. We have, yeah, Spirit is, is telling you that the situation that this person has to pack up their bags and leave the third party situation the Eight of Cups to come to you, you know, with this, with the, um, I thought I was, okay, but over here with the Ten of Cups. So they are, they are doing it. I'm getting them seeking enlightenment here. What about the Sun card? Why is the Sun card here? Ooh, Wheel of Fortune, that is our Aquarius choo-choo train. We have the Sun, we have the Moon, two days from now, sun, moon, uh, or tomorrow, because I'm posting this tomorrow, sun and moon and Jupiter, Saturn, and Venus. And there you go. You're going to have absolutely good luck and love. Good luck. There's something that brings in a lot of joy and happiness. Let's look and see how your person, this person that you're thinking about, what are they considering? What are they doing? Three of Wands. Two of Wands, Three of Wands, Four of Wands. All right, so we have a sequence of cards there. Your person sees you as their ship has that's come in. They don't want you to choose someone else. They're sitting here watching you as you as you have released this person. You have told them basically 
that if they don't get rid of this situation down here, that you are releasing them because you do want to have your happily ever after. And this person is sitting here thinking, oh, well, that isn't going so well now, is it? Cancer, please don't do that. But, you know, you're ready. You know what you want. You've got the surfboard. You are ready. You are manifesting. Okay, why is the Ace of Wands here? Why is the Ace of Wands here? What does your person, how do they view you? They view you, or they view the situation as, oh, look at this, the end of a marriage. Look at that. Death card, death card, and they view you as their wish come true. That is a star card. Beautiful energy. The star and the sun are, this is hopes and dreams for love coming true. That's the Aquarius sun and moon. That is it right there. Beautiful. Why do they see you as a beautiful queen of wands? <laughs> because they see you in a very logical way. This person knows the score. Your person is very analytical. They know that you are cut above. They know that you are absolutely what they, the person they want. We have Aquarius energy and Aquarius energy. And look at those two people are looking at each other. So there may be an Aquarius overlay to the relationship reading. There, both of you may have Aquarius in your chart or the Aquarius transit may tra trigger this. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Why is this person in lockdown mode? Okay, Ten of Swords, look at this. Ten of Swords, now this is so interesting, and look at this, the Sun card. They are, they feel they're leaving something because the Eight of Swords, and then look at these cards. They're absolutely, they're leaving a situation that was filled with drama, filled with heartache. They're leaving this situation. They're walking to their happy place, which is the Eight of Cups, and look at, they walk right onto the beach with you. Look at this, this is beautiful energy. It looks like you might take a trip together in the next, you know, the coming three or four months. The Magician card. Look at the, oh, I can't make this up. Look at, they see you, they view you as their future. They view you as a person with whom they have to build. They want to manifest a strong foundation because and I just, that's funny. And the Two of Wands, they want to plan their future with you. The, the Tower card means that they're, they're in the process of giving up a relationship. So you may have met them when they were married or, you know, at work or something. That's what it looks like. And it looks as though they are making moves to transform their life so that they can be with you. Now, you know, it doesn't have to be a third-party situation exactly. It can just be someone who has a very big, complicated life. My big, fat, complicated life. And they have used that, though, as an excuse not to be consistent with you and not to really be there for you. So whatever the problem is, however it's defined, this could be taking care of an elderly parent. It doesn't have to be a marriage, but it does show family responsibility at the very minimum. It could be single fathers who feel really like they don't have a moment to themselves because they are single. And so the children become... Uh, you know, almost like a, a barrier to seeing them. Look at this. They are so fearful. Eight of Swords to the Nine of Swords to the Ten of Swords. Yeah, they don't want to lose you. They have remorse and regret over putting you in this situation. And what we see is we go from the Eight of Swords, which is self-imposed restriction, to the Nine of Swords, remorse and regret, which is hidden, to the Ten of Swords of rectifying the situation by leaving. And that Eight of Cups mimics the, the Ten of Swords for their happiness, for your happiness together. So it does look like you're coming into union here. Okay, why do we have all of these? difficult cards of leave taking why do we have that for our person why is this all coming to pass third party situation so difficulties heartache stemming from not being the the focal point of the relationship other people other situations problems getting in the way all right so that is why 
there's all this energy, okay? Uh, why is the, the card of happiness here? Self-imposed restriction. Now, how in the heck does that work? Okay, so Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords oh, manif <laughs> manifesting happiness? But they haven't done it yet. They're stuck in this energy up here. But it does. Okay, so let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and do some different clarifiers with this. Okay, so why is the Eight of Swords here? I'm still not satisfied. The Devil card. Okay, so this person is really slow moving. It looks like when it's time to leave the train, they they look like they're not necessarily on board. So let's clarify with some of the Oracle cards. Let's see. Let's clarify with the messages of love. Okay. Okay. Why do we have the Four of Cups? Why is your person feeling as though you're releasing them? Fate. This is a destined partnership. So interesting energy. Fate says that no matter what happens, the two of you will go through a period of time together. Destined partnership. Interference, an external party is intruding on this relationship. Well, it shows itself, doesn't it? So why is a death card here twice? Why is a death card here? Time apart. Okay, that makes sense. So it does look like your person's working through their problems. They're straightening things out. They're getting their, their ducks in a row, so to speak. They do see you as their soulmate. Why do we have the tower card here for this person? Why is the tower card here? The obstacles. So they have obstacles that they need to deal with. We can see that here. Let's see. Why do we have the Eight of Swords? Why is that showing up in the outcome? So it shows that your person's manifesting you. You have good fortune. The two of you come together. Or do you? Okay, so let's see what's happening here with this Devil card and the Eight of Swords. This person's still saddled with these problems. So... Awakening. Oh, good. Someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation. Good. Okay, so at least at this point they know what they want. Let's see what else we have for the devil card. Healing. Old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. And why is the eight of swords here as the outcome? Support. Lean on your inner circle at this time. Don't dismiss the red flags here. So that's what we're seeing is that these have not gone away. They've not dissipated totally. Your happiness is here. This is a soulmate that you're supposed to be with. It looks like a destined, destined relationship. But what we are seeing is that Spirit is saying there's still red flags. All right, let's take a look and see why we have all this beautiful energy up here with this king of swords a second chance uh the king of swords deserves a second chance that's why we have the death card twice killed it off brought back to life really nice okay and then why do we have the nine of swords here why is this person all stressed out working less will help strengthen your relationship okay so it does look like they work too much. Why are they? Why is there such holding back here? Abundance. You've done the work. Abundance flows. It flows to you now with this happiness card. All right. So it does look like it's a very um, a challenging relationship. It does look like there's a lot of happiness. Cancer. You look very stable in all of this. It looks like your partner who's coming to this with their, their a sh good fair bag, a good amount of baggage, but it does look like they want to work through things. You're willing to let them work through their own things at their own pace and you're not getting codependent with them. The devil card here says that you're actually self, your self-imposed restriction actually looks like it's you unwilling to engage with the devil energy and it shows that your person is healing, awakening. You are giving them support, but you're also paying very att close attention to the red flags. 
So overall, I feel as though, you know, you're going to have your outcome here. But the card that I love best is the Sun card and the Magician card. You are manifesting this. Jupiter brings it. You have great clarity. You know what you're doing. So Cancer, I'm going to leave it there for you. Take care. Bye-bye.